Good day computers friends. I have got a fun project for you today and it's going to start by you finding a brand new Google Doc. I like to use the apps button on the right hand side and start my Google Doc and then of course the first thing I want to do is name it. So start that new document with just the blank document button. Click where it says untitled document and let's put the word or phrase epic things with your initials after it. So of course if we're going to add epic things we need to have a title and when you put in your epic things I want you to center it and let's use the cool title setting so that it already makes it fancy let's pick a cool font anyone that you think is awesome I'm gonna go with Pacifico pick a sweet text color anything that you dig is groovy and then press enter so you're on the next line and make sure you switch back to normal text Add this sentence right here. Thingiverse is an amazing site where free 3D prints can be found. When you're done with that, I need you to insert a table and we want that table to be three by four. And then we wanna type in the following labels in the top box. Description, URL, and then screenshot. Select those and once again, select center. Remember, if you can't see that button, you'll have to click the down arrow to see all of your items. Let's select all of those and make them bold so that they stand out. Let's fill in the background of these cells by doing right click, go to table properties, and let's do cell background color and set it to one of the light ones and tell it OK. Notice it only filled the ones that I had selected. If I had been down here and did table properties and did background color, it would fill in those, which is silly, so I'm going to undo it. But that's how you select, right click, and change. It's time to find our first amazing thing, and we're going to do that by visiting Thingiverse. You can click the link I've given you in Classroom. I have got a special Thingiverse link, so I'm just going to click mine here. Make sure that when you get to Thingiverse, you sign in with the passwords we created the other day. Once you're in Classroom, we are going to use the search button. I want you to search for something you think is awesome. I'm going to type something silly like pants because I don't want to mess up your cool choices. But I want you to pick something like car, boat, train, dragon, bird, dog, anything you think is awesome. And then when you go through and look at the items, like I'm going to pick Smarty Pants Head, and I'm going to decide that that is one of my favorites. So I'm going to go back to my Epic Things, and I'm going to put Description, and I'm going to put my own words, Cool Lego Smarty Pants Head, because that's what this was. It's a Lego head. You can read the description. They'll tell what it's from. But when you find one that you think is cool, that's what I want you to write. And then this is the URL. Right click copy, go back to your epic things, and paste it. So now we've got the description of what we thought was neat, and we've got the epic thing. And then the last thing is I want a screenshot. All right, so we're going to do a fancy screenshot today. So let's double check our settings. First, after the capture, we want to choose edit. Then go to our selected area and then grab the part of the picture we think is cool. Click on the edit tool and it opens up the amazing editor. And then I want you to use your drawing tools to put something like in words, like I'm going to put, oh my. I'm going to put a smiley face and then I'm going to add the words by clicking and I'm going to type wow. And when I'm done with that, I can hit done and I want to save it as an image to my downloads folder. Now I can go back to my Epic Things project and I'm going to insert that image and I'm going to upload it. There is my cool picture with my oh my and my smiley face and my check mark. I'm going to shrink it down so I'm sure it fits. And then your job is to do this exact same thing 
editing each one and adding something cool and finding at least three epic things. If you find another epic thing, just do insert row below and you can put as many as you want as you're completing this cool project. Links are really cool because they let you go to the website, but to make that work, you need to select the text you made and click the link button. And just like that, it is now a URL that when people click it in your document, it will take them to the actual project. And you can test that for each one you made. Make sure you share all of your projects with your neighbors. Let them see the cool things you found. The fewer times we have the same things, the more epic this project becomes. When you've filled in at least three, I need you to do a screenshot and turn that in in Google Classroom. Friends, thanks for watching this cool lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure if you found it useful, you give it that thumbs up button. Friends, if you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. If you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. And if you want to add a question or comment, please do it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.